Good afternoon. We are back. Two new things. One, I'm blonde. <laughs> and two, in this video, we'll be covering my new CZ Shadow 2 and the Optics Division. We're doing something new. I got to try out the CZ Shadow 2 in three separate competitions and we'll be breaking down what's different, what's new, how I feel about competing in the Production Optics Division. First competition we'll be covering is the Dinagyang Festival in Iloilo. We got to fly over there and shoot 15 stages. I'll be including four stages and giving you the breakdowns in the range. So yeah, on to Dinagyang. another elevator ride. I'm about to leave for Iloilo. We're gonna shoot the Dinagyang Cup. It's 15 stages. Whew. We're doing something totally different today. Not the shooting, not the competing, but I am competing with the CZ Shadow 2. Don't know how to feel about this competition, but we'll see you later. See you at the airport. magazines they're bigger than usual first time equipment check with a production optic let's see how they do it so if I'm not mistaken in the production optics division they measure the first shot that it isn't less than five pounds and then the second shot second shot doesn't matter after that they label the magazines well in this edition I have 15 rounds five extra rounds than my usual 10 so that's gonna be fun <laughs> stick around the gun okay oh sorry thank you Magazines are labeled already. Production optics! <laughs> my optics off. Gotta turn my optic on. It's totally a problem with, with optics. It's like iron sights, you don't need to worry about this. To get our grip, a little bit of dry fire before we start. For our first stage in the Production Optics Division, it is composed of seven steel targets, one paper target, and one no sheet. Starting position was on the left or the right with these obstructing sticks. Ready. Bye bye. plan I just hit the range officer's elbow but it was okay three alpha on the on the board just wanted to make sure uh, it's okay for our next stage of the day this is the first time I actually got a gun malfunction it's composed of three steel and four boards Bye. Ah. Ah. A little bit of a minor jam over here, a failure to feed, but I'm not that sure if it was the gun's fault or if it was the bullet's fault. Next stage we have four steel targets and three paper targets. In this stage we pretty much stayed in one position. Are you ready? Stand by! Let's get it, man. Let's get it. Climb the hill. Climb the hill. Next stage. Yeah. Are you ready? Stand by. Ah. All alpha for this stage, 20 alphas with the time of 17.99. All right, great stage. Next stage. Yeah, good stage. Thank you. 
And for our last course of the day, it's a long course consisting of two steel targets and 15 boards. The goal here was pretty much to run fast. Ready? Yeah. We're here with uh, Range Officer Paul Aranda. Aranda. Thank you, sir. One of uh, our subscribers. You guys are the best. You guys rock. But this gun and my skill, I don't know. <laughs> cool. We're here with the owners of the range. This is Mikey and Sir Miguel. They're locals of Miguel. They just opened the range, if I'm not mistaken. When did you guys open? Last December 20. How many Pilanica Bay? 16 bay. 16 bays, guys. The range is actually perfect. The weather's great. You guys should totally come and visit. And Dinangyang is finished. 15 stages in. I finished third place. I guess it was okay for the first time competing in the optics division. A lot of penalties. I think I ended the match with what? Five misses, three no shoots. The feel of the trigger in general is pretty different from a 1911, of course. I think you can generally shoot faster in the optics division. One, having more ammo, and two, having an optic. Got to learn a lot of things competing in the optics division for the first time. Checking your dot right before you run, covering it when there's dust, having that little microfiber when oil splatters right after the run, you gotta clean your dot. It's very interesting. You learn how to be more target focused. Well, you can just generally shoot faster with 15 plus one rounds. I mean, that's 50% more than what you generally give me in, a, in my single stack 1911. But yeah, on to the next competition. We're gonna go to Ironside firing range in Silang Cavite. There were nine stages there. They were high hit factor. Pretty fun to watch. I'm gonna be including like four or five videos seeing how we do over there. See you there. Are you ready? Ready. <sighs> All right, quick intermission before any of you ask. Here are the two units that I got. Both are unloaded. All right. I changed up a lot of things in these two Shadow 2s. All of them are IPSC legal, and I'm sure they're legal as well in the Carry Optics Division in USPSA. I changed up a lot of things. I changed up the trigger to an Ementech trigger, ultimate trigger. I also changed up the hammer set to a Kjun hammer set. I put on uh, these extended safeties so that, you know, you can put your thumb on them comfortably, you know, rest your thumb there. I was just about to change the slide safety. My thumb kept hitting it because I established a high grip initially before I used this. Besides that, I did change the springs as well. I changed the springs to Ementec springs. I chose the 10 pound recoil spring initially, but then I changed it up to a nine pound just because the balance just hit it right. And uh, lastly, I got my grips from Lock Grips. I like them because they have um, this aggressive grip, but not too aggressive in which, you know, you might hurt yourself. <laughs> and of course, I chose the Trijicon 5.0 MOA dot and it um, works great. Um, this is my first dot. I have no complaints. I mean, the dot, the dot looks great. Other than that, that's pretty much what I changed for this gun. Back to the competition. 
somebody. And Iron Sight is done. In that competition, we bagged first place. It was nice shooting high hit factor stages and not needing to reload. <laughs> I mean, in the classic division, you just reload, reload for port. But here, you give me more rounds, I can shoot three, three rounds on the paper with no problem, not even thinking about it, right? Have makeup shots here and there, but it's no problem again because it's the production optics division. It's 15 plus one. And lastly, we're competing in the PNPA firing range with one of the best in the Philippines. And I couldn't help myself but ask him if I could shoot with him, you know, to learn in general how, how it is to be able to shoot faster in the optics division, what he does, what he thinks about. GM Renbert Costillo, go give him a follow on his Instagram right there. We're gonna shoot with uh, GM Renbert in the PNPA match and I'll give you a breakdown there. Are you ready? Stand by! Here is an amazing example of how to shoot fast by GM Renbert. So, to conclude my experience, it was great shooting with GM Renbert. I got to learn so many things. I got to see how fast he moves and how fast he shoots the gun <laughs> and how he connects, right? It was nice learning from those kinds of people. I mean, that's one of the best ways to learn if you have Grandmaster beside you, a person that's really proficient in their own craft it's that's the best way to just be with them right my overall experience with the optics division i really had fun it was nice learning and experimenting with a different gun we'll see how it carries over to the classic division as i go back for the world shoot qualifiers and we'll see how things play out thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye bye